I'm going to show you how to use InDesign to generate rolling credits in Final Cut Pro. That way you can use the power of text controls in InDesign. I'm going to show you how to use InDesign with all of its power and text and controls and columns to generate titles for Final Cut so you can do those fancy rolling credits that you see behind me here. Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer, but also I'm a filmmaker and InDesign user. And I've done this a couple times and discovered a couple niggles, and that's what I'm going to show you in this video today. Let's get right down to it. I've got InDesign here with, I've already imported, let me show you here, I've already imported my director, writers, producers list. You can look up how to do that in other videos, but put an Excel sheet together of all your different positions and your names, and this is powerful because you can have everything in the correct order, columns, it's easy cha to change the title, the size, the font, the, the everything in InDesign, it's very powerful, way better than Final Cut for editing text. You can move everything around, rescale. If I need to enlarge my background or I want bigger fonts, it's very easy to do. I set up paragraph styles for the directors and the names. If you click on the paragraph styles, double click that, open up the format, you can enlarge the names and do everything there. Check out other tutorials on how to do that. Once you get the Excel sheet into your InDesign file and you've got everything, the font and everything the way you like it, what you do is you go down to in your paragraph style options into character color and change the character color to paper, not none because things will disappear. Hit OK and now you've got a blank sheet but actually have white text. Then you go over to File, Export, and what you're going to do is Final Cut, Predit, uh, Final Cut Pro Rolling Credits 2, you're going to export as a PNG file. That will make the background transparent. You hit save and then export all. Quality max, do not use 1200 pixels per inch. Final cut crashes, I tried for an hour. Uh, 10 points, uh, 4 point 6, 7 and 8, they crash, don't do it. The key is the transparent background. That is the key and also the anti-alias. You hit export and uh, InDesign will <laughs> export a PNG file of all of your text with all the nice edges and everything. Then you go into Final Cut or in, into Finder, just do the usual import into Final Cut and now I've got rolling credits. I've already keyed out my background just to demonstrate this and this rolling credit file has all my credits and then I simply drop this down and let's say I want a credit duration of 30 seconds. Oops, maybe not. How about 10 seconds? 30 seconds is way too long, all right? And now I've got my rolling credits as you can see here. And this is the magic to make them roll. Click into your credits on your secondary timeline. Go to crop and we're going to crop on you and we're going to do the Ken Burns maneuver. And the key to this is because Ken Burns speeds in and out, is right click on the Ken Burns crop and choose linear. And that's what makes this whole thing work. Then simply drag your start box higher and then get everything lined up and then get your inbox just to the bottom. Do that, hit done and now you have scrolling text that you can easily change and control in InDesign if you need to make any changes. It's very simple. You can use the font engine in InDesign. You can use the columns. You can import spreadsheets. After Effects, a Final Cut, you got to put text in, but you got to tab it. 
Now, After Effects, you have to use dual columns. It's awful. InDesign gives you the capability to generate text and make changes and bring things in on the fly, reapply the Ken Burns scroll, and then retime it, and it works super well, and it's ultra fast. I hope you found this video helpful to bring in InDesign ping files into Final Cut to do scrolling background style credits. <laughs> I'm trying to remember all the names here. My name is Aaron Lindstow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please like and comment on the video. And also, if you found it helpful, subscribe to the channel. Happy filmmaking and in designing.